here with us on the Asian Network. Craig, David, what's happening, man? Listen, I am... What a time to be alive, man. <laughs> that what I'm just happy to be up in the building. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Can I just explain something here? We're not about to do a straightforward interview with Craig David. You see, my producers, Kedge and Ash, who are a couple of children, have decided to set me a little challenge. They want me to weave in as many songs from Craig David's new album into our conversation without Craig realising. Here's how I did. When your parents come and see you, mm. are, are they there as parents or are they there like a fan? Do you know what? I mean, my mum and my mum and dad are like my biggest fans. I mean, they my my, my dad sort of critiques things, positively critiques things. He's just like, yeah, maybe you need to turn the bass up a little bit in that track there. Cause he, he was a bass guitarist back in the day, yeah. So <laughs> everything's bass related. Yeah, maybe you could the rhythm of the bass could have been different. I'm like, dang. Well, you're still, that's on seven days you're still talking about the rhythm of the bass could be different. I think, I think people are feeling the way the bass is playing, my man. Well, it's like, it's done all right, that tune. Yeah. So, so he, so when you talk about like when the bass line drops, that's your dad. Like, yeah, it better drop. Because- you could be like, listen, don't amp people up and then don't give them the drop. Do you know what I mean? I'm, I'm a big believer you got, you can't do that to people. It's the worst. You're listening to a tune, especially like if it's a dance tune yeah. or a garage tune and it builds and you're like, oh man, I'm into this. And then it gets to the drop and you're like, bruh. What happened, man? That was like you, you set me up, and then you just like took away the carpet. Yeah. So my my mum and dad, they've been like, they've supported it over the years. Yeah. But also, what I love is like, listen, after doing the live lounge, the first text I'll get is my mum saying, "Wow, that was amazing." And I'll always say, "Mum, you, you really enjoyed it." She goes, "Great, it was incredible." And she kind of is from an honest place. She knows the tunes as well, so. Do you, and how do you feel having her around at gigs? Or you know, because some people might not like. They're like, well, mom, "Mom's hanging around." Go, you got to be responsible for them. Is it is it better when she's with you, or better with you, or better without? You know, not with you. I mean, I, I love it when she's around to all the shows. Yeah. I, I always, however you look at it, that bond that you you have with your parents, especially with my mom, is that I'll always be a little bit more cautious to make sure that she's okay and that like you know your side of stage right and you haven't you've got the right arm armbands and I'll take you through so you're not getting any any nonsense going on because when you're at a festival or something a lot of stuff's going on yeah no one knows that that's, that's my mum or not so it's like I just want to make sure it's smooth so I sometimes have to, I take my eye off what I'm doing for a minute to make sure but that's just being a son you yeah. know what I mean yeah so I love it and when she's there and I just glance at her and she's like she knows. Yeah. Because she, I mean, look, my mum's done everything for me. Going up to London, buying records with money she didn't have to to support me at my, my musical dream. And to let me even DJ in a club when I was like 17 years old yeah. under the supervision of like my chaperone who was like another DJ who was like 10 years older. But most mums would be like, you ain't going nowhere. <laughs> I don't know about going to a club. You'll be in bed by like 11 yeah. o'clock. Oh, what are you even thinking about? And I'd have my mum picking me up with, at two o'clock in the morning with my record boxes. Okay, what if? What if she didn't support you and you didn't have that back and it didn't work out? Arthur Dodger wasn't there. Da, da, da. Mm. Where, where do you think Craig David would be now if he wasn't in music? It's always a, a great question, that, because I'm a firm believer that there's only plan A. Do you know what I mean? That, that we Hindsight and if I'd done that, if I'd done... It, it's It's... It doesn't really exist because what did happen is this. And I think that's what, when you find in life that when people say, oh yeah, but it didn't go quite right. Well, no, that was actually the path that you went on. Do you know what I mean? So when you know that you're actually the one controlling the, you're you're steering the ship, well, you want to get back on course, do your thing. Do you know what I mean? And I've always found that everything's happened along the way in my career has always brought me to, weirdly enough, a better place. Everything's good. Are you happy? Are you content? Do you think you've got it good? Do you know what? I am the most happiest guy out there for the simple fact being that I've got my friends and family around me. I'm able to wake up in the morning, make music that makes me happy, but also has the potential to make other people happy. And over the course of my career, even just looking back at how my music has impacted people, I've got people saying that they they met to my song, they get married to one of my records, or they met they just had their summer 2016 and said look this is a time stamp in our life for the rest of our that we will remember and i just think that if you can't be hyped and gassed off life of that then what are you waking up to i mean when you're ever going to be happy i love it listen our show is all about positivity and you know we're a breakfast show we mm. want to get people motivated but we all know that times can be tough and i'm sure there were times in career where you're like 
you know, you, you got to dig deeper to kind of get keep going. Where does that drive come? Where does the drive come? That you said, I ain't giving up. I'm Craig David. I'm the, I'm born to do it. Mm. You know, I've got to keep carrying on. I like that. Ain't giving up. That was a, that's a good a good shout on that. Why is that? Because it just sort of sounds like a title that I that I know too well. It's just it's just similar to, to a title that I've got with this guy to Gala yeah. and giving up. Yeah, it's just interesting. It's, it's funny how that clocked. worked. Yeah, in. yeah. 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 Just, just clocked it. But um, have, yeah, it's it's a, it's a funny one. Have, hold on, stop, stop, stop. Have you clocked it? I clocked it a little bit. Yeah. Did you clock it? How long ago did you clock it? I let it slide for a while. Did you really? Yeah, but I, I allowed because no, but it was cool. Was it cool? Yeah, no, it was really cool. I was trying to work but, it no, in no, a smooth no, way. You did it so smooth that I didn't want to be just to mash it from the start. Oh, okay. I mean, ah, oh, because like, oh. I had a couple of them. I was like, oh, he's he's picked up on a couple here, my man. <laughs> 